Good morning, everybody. Let's make a really easy mulberry jam with fresh picked mulberries off the tree. We're also going to need just one lemon and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt and a frozen metal spoon. So go ahead and put your spoon in the freezer. We are going to start with our ingredients. This is really, really easy. Just use five cups of berries, a half a cup of white sugar, see, nice and easy, straight on top of the berries, and then you want to cut up your lemon and squeeze about two tablespoons worth of lemon juice into your saucepan. It's really, really easy, this recipe. You're not going to need any special ingredients like pectin or anything like that. The jam that we're making is a little less jelly-ish and more like a really reduced berry uh, compote, I guess you would say. Uh, it's beautiful to use in baking. You can use it on toast as well if you want to, but I intend to use the jam I'm making today for baking with jam scrolls or jam drop biscuits or cakes with a jam swirl in them. Add a little pinch of salt in there as well and then we're going to take it straight over to the stovetop. You want to turn it on to a medium heat and then we're going to go straight in there and start mashing down everything. So you want to mash and mix together. Just keep going until the heat starts to rise. The berries start to soften. You start to see a lot of juice and you'll realize pretty quickly how easy it is to make this jam. I do recommend staying near your stovetop. You don't want to leave this one on the stovetop because it will burn quite quickly if you don't keep your eye on it. Look how beautiful those berries are. All of the juice is starting to come out now. It's starting to give you a lovely liquid. You don't need to add any water or anything like that at this point. Although if you do find that it dries out quickly and your berries are starting to burn, that's when I put a little bit of water in as well. So we're getting to a point now where our mashing is almost done. This jam is going to have seeds in it. I don't particularly care about whether or not there are seeds in my jam. So we're not going to sip it or anything like that. We are literally just mashing at the start and then you put aside your masher, take your wooden spoon and start to mix. Now what we're going to do is leave this beautiful jammy liquidy mixture on the stovetop. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit so that we're still bubbling away but it's not completely boiling the whole time and you're going to set your timer for 20 minutes. Make sure you stay in the kitchen. This is a great time to be doing your dishes now and then coming back and stirring every minute or two just to make sure that nothing's going to burn on the bottom. After 20 minutes, look at how beautiful this is starting to look. You've got a nice, thick, gooey, jammy consistency. If you had to go rogue and add a little bit of water because your berries started to dry out, that's fine. To make sure you've got your jam in a level that you want it for baking, what you're going to do is take that metal spoon out of the freezer, pop some jam on it, tip the excess off and then run your finger through it. If it makes a line and the liquid doesn't come back together again, that's when you know that your jam is ready. And now all you have to do is put it on a plate to cool it down. Once it's nice and cool, you can start using it in your baking. If you need any baking ideas on how to use this jam, all you have to do is click on one of the links and I will show you four different options on how to use it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video today, everybody. I hope you found it helpful um, and easy, and I hope you really enjoy making jam for the first time. Look at that beautiful color of the mulberries. I love fresh mulberries. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. And if you want to see this video in more detail, we filmed it live on Facebook. This is just a short snippet of all of the steps. If you'd like to get to know us a little bit better at Beautifully Organized and see everything in a lot more detail, or if you want to join us for the next live video so you can chat and comment and yeah, we can spend some time together, then make sure you click on the link and I will see you next time. Bye.